Thank you for um, joining us for this presentation on hormones. And so there, there's three types of hormones. You've got the thyroid, the adrenal, and the sex hormones for this presentation. And who's a candidate for testing? So anyone who experiences prolonged fatigue, weight gain, infertility, menopausal symptoms, ovarian cyst, um, depression, lack of sex drive, and many more symptoms, even PMS. Although uh, costly specialty hormonal testing have their value, patients will actually benefit from starting with just the local laboratory. And we'll be testing for um, thyroid, adrenal, and sex hormones. The basic thyroid testing include the TSH, the free T3, free T4, reverse T3, and the thyroid peroxidase, which is a, a test to, in, to look for Hashimoto or any autoimmunity to the thyroid. And this particular test doesn't have to be um, retested if negative, but it's a good idea to test it once, um, uh, you know, on, a, on everyone. And more tests are available on our pre-existing thyroid patients. And along with the thyroid, the adrenal test is very important, and, for, and it plays um, in harmony with the thyroid. So the DHEAS is a precursor of testosterone and estradiol. So it is important to see that you have a good enough number um, value on your blood test. And it's also associated with lack of sex drive if your DHEA is low. And if it's elevated, it's associated with polycystic ovaries. The cortisol is a hormone um, made in the adrenal as well, and testing it in the morning or afternoon can actually explain you know, either fatigue or the opposite insomnia at night if your cortisol is elevated at night. Um, elevated cortisol tends to also cause a central obesity and weight gain, and a very low cortisol is, is a testimony to extreme fatigue, and that would actually cause a lot more sugar craving as well. Now, for the straight sex hormones for women, we test estradiol, progesterone, and testosterone, DHEA as well, and the LH and FSH if we um, suspect menopause. And the ratios of these hormones are very important too. Now, for men, we test free and total testosterone, DHEA, and sex hormone binding globulin, and sometimes we'll also test for estrogen if we suspect some imbalance. So regulating all these hormones are obviously dependent on the values and those numbers. So repeat testing could be done after we put the patients on a program and a supplementation. Thank you for your time.